Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Twana Ray Live. This is your host, Twana, and I'm coming to you from StreamYards because I have some breaking news to share. Everybody knows that I am a fan of Tati Westbrook. Glam guru life is everything. I love her. I've been watching her for years. Well, she's been off the scene and off the scope for, I would say, a month or more. Um, and after this today, about four hours ago, she decided I'm going to break my silence. I have the footage. Okay, so if you don't follow Tati Westbrook, you should definitely do so. Um, in the meantime, I am going to um, show you how I discovered this entire uh, story. And it is one of my favorite channels that I love to watch. So let me go ahead and share my screen um, so I can show you guys where the breaking footage came from. This right here is um, Spill Sesh. And on Spill Sesh today, Tati Westbrook calls out Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. So if you want to catch that video, I'm definitely going to put the link in the description box so you can take a look at what they had to say about uh, everything that's going on. And so as you can see here, um, they are showing you, hey, Tati had some things to say. I'm going to head on over to her channel right now so you can actually hear some of the things that she had to say in her video. It's been a long time coming for me to share with you some very, very important things. And I am going to be reading uh, from what is approved by my legal team. So I am, once I start getting into what I need to share with you guys today, what I feel is important to share with you, I won't be deviating and it's um, at the advice of my legal counsel. So, okay, so here we understand that everything she's about to say in this video is per her legal team. Now, she does say in the video that these are her words written from her heart, but you know, she had to write some things down and everything she wrote down had to be approved by her legal team because this is deep, it is serious. And, you know, whatever's going on behind the scenes, we're not going to know everything right now, but we will in the future. So let's move on. Uh, there's so much going on on YouTube and in the world. And I just, first off, I do want to request something. Actually, before that, I just want to tell you that I missed you guys. We missed her too so much a lot um and i'm sorry that you haven't seen me in a while and i'm hoping that this video clears up a lot of the reasons why i felt i could not be online over the past couple of months um i i have missed making videos and i've missed you so so much um but i do want to ask anyone watching this that believes in anything higher than themselves, that believes in any higher power, um, you know, all higher power, all God is love and the root of love. And I am a woman of faith and I've been praying every day over this event, scandal, whatever you want to name it. And I just ask that you press pause for a moment and even just for 10 seconds. So in this uh, clip right here, she's asking everybody to uh, say some prayers uh, for, you know, not just the video, but the entire scandal or event or whatever that's going on. Later on in the video, um, you'll see her breakdown in tears. She does apologize to James Charles in the video, which I thought was like just epic i was like oh my goodness and yes she does throw uh shane dawson under the bus as well as jeffree star and she does warn closer to the end of the video that hey jeffree's probably going to go off and when he does just be prepared but she wanted to first apologize to um uh, james charles for her involvement now what i understood and this is just me when Tati made the video, okay? 
And I'm talking about the video from last year, was it? When she made the video about James Charles deceiving her, or not so much a deceptive uh, move, but it was kind of like, you chose my rival over me. You chose my competitor over me with the Halo Vitamins and this other company, right? So when he was seen, um, you know, endorsing, you know, somebody else is like, I feel like that was Tati Westbrook's last straw. And she says this in the video um, about, you know, that's that was her breaking point, but that was not the reason for the video. And so I was really happy that Tati cleared that up because this whole time for me, I was thinking, hey, this Tati didn't have much involvement because this was clearly about, you know, the vitamins and she clears that up and says, no, I didn't have to make that video about vitamins because me and James Charles' relationship, you know, we could call each other up and talk. You know, James has been to Tachi's house. We've seen that on the channel. Um, and immediately after the video, um, you know, her and James Charles' relationship um, was uh, saved. You know, they they talked and they've been talking. And then she says how James Charles wanted to be by her side when she dropped this video, when she was making the video, when she said, no, it's important that I do it by myself because... James Charles, you're the one that I owe the apology to first. So let's move on a little bit further um, and see what else she has to say. As he had a rare ability to improve himself through any situation. In the past, if I was upset, it never lasted long. He is gifted with turning pain into strength. And I've always admired that. And here she's However, talking about prior James to the Charles. scandal last May, I'd started growing frustrated with what I perceived as a progressing sense of entitlement. And I felt that he was making some detrimental choices that could jeopardize his career and safety. None of my concerns became overwhelming until after I met Shane Dawson. Okay, so here she's talking about James Charles and some of the choices that he was making, um, you know, and, and she was like, I thought if I made the video, he would put his phone down. Um, but she met, you know, Shane and her and Shane um, developed a relationship and you know it just escalated into some other stuff but i'm definitely going to leave this link in the description box and let you listen to what she has to say about that relationship let's move on time i would see improvements which were followed by setbacks thereafter but overall i thought he was growing as a person and again i thought i could be a good example for him and here she's talking about jeffree star and this was so hard to watch because ugh so sad. I even tried to get him involved with my favorite charity. Diverting from script. P.S. I am going to be speaking on my real life more freely, I hope, in the future and the things that I think are important. Um, I have participated uh, in this charity for so here she begins to talk about the charity that she tried to get uh, Jeffree Star involved in. And of course that didn't work out the way she thought it was gonna work out. And the video is 40 minutes long. So I am skipping through, just giving you a few highlights. Um, I only watched the video once because it was just so heartbreaking for me because I do um, like Tati. And actually, even though I've never used any of James Charles's products, when I go to Ulta and I see his products, um, that he has like the, uh, conjunction between him and Morphe. I mean, the palettes look really, really good, like way better than, um, other people mentioned in this video. I'm just saying, but, uh, you know, and I thought, you know, well, he's a predator. However, that was never, said by Tati Westbrook. It was said by other people that were mentioned in this video, but never by Tati Westbrook. I have watched the video from last year, last May, over and over, and she never said that James Charles was a predator. She never said that he was an alleged sexual predator, but she was upset, just like other people were upset about his 
you know, alleged involvement with, you know, um, attacking other little boys or leering, you know, underage boys because she is a sexual abuse survivor. As other people who are upset, including myself, about Jeffree Star's involvement in all of this and his mouth is so foul and he says things that just shouldn't be said. And so when you have survived stuff like that, things like this really tick you off. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit more of what Tati has to say before we end this, because I have upcoming breaking news on Shane Dawson and other trouble that he is in. And this is going to be the first time I even felt like reporting anything about Shane Dawson, because I just wasn't going to give him the time of day on my channel. But this news is so juicy and so hot. I was like, I have to let people know what's going on. Um, it, it, it affects our community, not just the makeup community. I do have a makeup channel. And so it, it not only affects that, but it affects our community, me as a woman of color. And so, you know, I've got to do the story, but let's move on and see what else Tati has to say. Hey, about all the pain and heartbreak in my life that led me to wanting to start my own YouTube channel back in 2010. I wish I had researched him better. I wish I had watched his old videos. I wish I had educated myself and I was aware of his earlier content. All I knew at the time was that Shane Dawson was the most adored documentary filmmaker on YouTube. So I invited him over to my home to play with makeup and to get to know him. Shane big. I think there were many players and I have every intention of getting to the truth. In early May, when Jeffrey went on a podcast and denied responsibility for his involvement and placed blame on me, it was both cowardly and defamatory. Last week, when Shane issued his statements about his involvement in all of this, I also perceived them as cowardly and defamatory. Okay, going to stop right there because I did watch clips of the podcast that she mentioned Um and it was, uh, I think, Mother's Basement or Mama's Basement or something like that. But I'm not familiar with the podcast because I'm not a fan. I didn't even know it existed. But it is listened to by, you know, oh, gobs of people um, that clearly is like in another community. And uh, Jeffree Star was on that particular podcast. And I heard Jeffree um, allegedly say if this was Jeffrey, which I'm sure it was, but I don't want to be in any hot water. So I'm just saying what I heard on the podcast clip was Jeffrey saying, we can go in another room and I can let you listen to a clip from a conversation, perhaps allegedly. Yeah. So uh, if you guys have not seen that video, I have that coming up in another video of my own because I don't want to leave any of the tea out. I know you guys want the full story. And because this community is so close to my heart, I just feel like it's necessary to give you guys the 411 on this. I mean, I literally was excited when I saw, uh, you know, Tati pop up because she has not dropped a makeup video in forever. And the only thing I had to type in her comments is I miss you because oh, if you know me, I'm always talking about Tati. I couldn't wait for Tati Beauty to drop. Um, I'm a super, I'm a super fan to me in makeup. She's a superhero. Also, she apologized to Jackie Ina, which was a huge step because we all know that Jackie Ina, um, you know, reviewed Tati Beauty on her channel when it came out. She said that she probably wasn't going to, she wasn't feeling like she was going to do it, but she went ahead and did it. And, you know, she loved the product. And I was like, oh my God, could this be reconciliation? You know, is it what is happening? So behind the scenes, we don't know what's going on between Jackie Ina and Tati Westbrook, but I do know that she apologized to Jackie and she not only apologized, but she apologized for not standing up for Jackie when Jackie was attacked by Jeffree Star, <clears throat> allegedly. 
because I don't know, I wasn't there, but Tati was there and she heard and saw everything. And so this is her apologizing to Jackie for that. It's all here in this 40 minute video of breaking my silence. And I, I'm telling you guys, you got to watch this video. Um, let's look at a little bit of the end of the video. Do that. Don't spread hate. You can turn away and give your time to yourself or to something else. You don't have to live there. You don't have to participate. It does nothing. Really hard for me to watch because Tati is a strong person. I hate to see her. Um, I hate to see her like this but I can completely understand why it's important for her to, you know, do that. Um, and you can't help but get emotional over things like this because, you know, Tati to me has a great reputation. Let me just say that first and foremost, she has a great reputation. Um, you know, she, when it comes to makeup reviews and product reviews, she is the queen, um, you know, and we just love her tutorials and she's awesome. So we're praying for Tati and everybody involved in this scandal. Um, I, I can't really say, you know, giving commentary, you guys, I cannot say if I'm still on board with James Charles or not, because I don't know if the voice clips Jeffree Star claims to have prove anything or not. OK, I don't know. I understand that in Tati's video, she says she was led to believe what she heard on Jeffree Star's phone. What she heard, it was enough to scare her. Was it enough for her to call the authorities? Absolutely not. But was it enough for her to be, you know, afraid? Absolutely. And because Jeffree Star keeps claiming to have dirt on everybody, we've seen that on his Snapchat videos, you know, and whatever. He claims that he's got dirt on everybody and people fear this man because he says stuff like that. And I just don't get it, but I'm not that deep off in the community. Listen, guys, this is makeup. We're talking about makeup, makeup that you put on your face and you have fun with and you create a different look and, you know, you play with lipsticks and eyeshadows and you create different eyebrow shapes when you want to. And <laughs> you know, it's makeup, but I get it when you become a brand creator and not just a content creator. Other things come into play like money and fame. And when you're a fame chaser, not just a clout chaser, because there is a difference, but when you are a fame chaser and you think somebody else is, you know, one upping you, I guess you feel a little bit threatened. Here's my thing. My commentary and my take on the whole thing is I love Tati Westbrook and I love that she was able to apologize to everybody and say what she needed to say without um, getting in trouble with her, you know, legal team. Um, I'm glad that she's working with, you know, a legal team on this because she needs to protect her brand. She's, she's so talented and I, I love when people take accountability. I love when they apologize. And, you know, I can't say that this is not sincere because I, she started crying and then I started crying. And this is all on video because I don't, I've never met this woman before. But every time she dropped a tear, I was crying too. I was like, oh my God, because I hate to see it. Now, I again, I can't say that I'm on board with J, uh, James Charles, but here's the thing. I know that James Charles is super young, way younger than my own child. And I know that uh, Jeffree Star is in his 30s, even though he may not look like it. I mean, you got to give it up for the man. He's gorgeous, but his mouth is lethal. And um, look, man, you need to leave that kid alone. <laughs> Jeffrey, you need to leave that kid alone. Even if he is, you know, a threat in the community, you guys used to be friends. You guys used to hang out or whatever, whatever, you know, the bulk of your relationship was, you know, why not, you know, pull strong forces together and work together instead of, you know, doing this. This is crazy. 
this is not what we want in the beauty community. Um, you know, when we go to you guys' channels, um, we don't want to hear behind the scenes that you guys are fussing and fighting. We want everybody working together and being happy and creating great products. This does not make us want to purchase any of your stuff. This is not a good look. This is not a good look, Jeffrey and Shane. Not a good look. I think Shane Dawson pulling out of the beauty community, you know, bravo. Because really, after the Willow Smith thing this week, you were canceled by a lot of people. Anyway, so I think Shane should go back um, after he apologizes for everything. I think he should go back to just doing documentaries and being the fabulous um, uh, producer that that, you know, people say he is. Um, okay. Uh, there's so much that has gone on, so much that has transpired, so much tea being spilled, um, and so much evidence. You know, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, check out Tati's video. I'm going to be, you know, giving you guys some more tea to sip uh, this week as stories progress. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you so much for watching and listening to Tawana Ray Live. Make something wonderful happen. And until next time, bye for now.